Yeah, my name is Kanavav. Today we will discuss about how to delete duplicate records in SQL Server. But before discussing about this concept, here we need to discuss about some other concepts. Like uh, the first concept is from class. Then we need to discuss about row number function. These two concepts we'll discuss first. And then we need to discuss about partition by class. Is it clear? So here, what is from class? Generally, we here when we work with uh, SQL Server, if you want to display all the records from the employee table, we'll simply write the query select star from employee. Here, select star from table name. But from class is used to pass a query instead of table name. For example, I will write something like this. Select star from bracket open, bracket close. And here I will write select star from employee. Here I will write E. So here, whatever the query that you write within this parenthesis is called as subquery, inner query. So whenever you are working with subqueries, always the inner query will get executed first. The result of the inner query was given to the next highest query. So here the inner query will get executed, and then the next highest query will get executed. Right. So here instead of uh, table name, we are directly passing the as a query, select query. So here in my SQL Server database, I am having one database with name employee. And there I'm having one table with name employee. Right click, edit top 200 rows. So here when I try to execute both the queries, I will not get any difference. Both the queries will resemble the same output. Is it clear? Next, what is row number function? So here row number function, it is used to assign. It is used to assign a unique row number. It is used to assign a unique row number for each and every row. For each and every row. Here row number function will always work with over class. The syntax for row number is row number over order by column name. Row number over order by column name. So here when you try to work with row number function first of all order by class will arrange the data based on that column in ascending order and then row number function will give the unique identification number for each and every row so here if you try to observe that i have one table and here i will try to write some query select star comma here i will use row number and here i will use over class and here I will use order by class, order by column name. The column name I am giving is E number. So here I will give some alias name as row ID. As row ID from table name. My table name is employee. So what is the meaning of this query? So whenever you try to execute this query, first order by class will arrange the data in ascending order based on E number column. Here if you observe here. Right, and then row, uh, row number function will give the unique ID for each and every particular row. And the row number function will give the unique ID for the ordered data. Is it clear? Similarly, if I ask you to write a query to display the employee details, uh, write a query to display the event records. Means here the event records are something like two, second one, and I want fourth one. Sixth one. These are the event records that are available. So how to display the event records? I will write the query. Select a star, comma, row number. Select star, comma, row number. Here I will write over. Here I will write order by E number as row ID. As row ID. From employee. So here this is the inner query and I will use the from class to write the query select a star from here I will use the from class is it clear so this is my outer query and uh, this is my inner query so first of all when you try to work here 
the inner query will get executed the result of the inner query will be stored in the next highest query so here the, this is my inner query this inner query will get executed and here i will write select star from e so and uh, here i will write something like where row id where row id modulus 2 is equals to 0 because we already know even number means if any number uh, modulus 2 the remainder is 0 then it will display the even record when you press f5 here you don't confuse that i am not uh, uh, applying this even number this uh, modulus operator for e number column i am displaying the even records means based on what row id similarly if i want to display the odd records so here i will write where row id modulus to not equals to zero here i will try to execute the query so that it will display the odd records so in this manner you can work with from class and row number function in the next video i will discuss about how to work with partition by class and how to delete the duplicate records for more updates you can log into my facebook group www.facebook.com slash group slash world of dot net and for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel thank you